HRV you mentioned there. Why is that important and what, did it, what, what is it? Yeah, it's a heart rate variability and it's a representation of your nervous system. There's two parts, your parasynthetic nervous system and your, uh, so your autonomic nervous system. And you're trying to basically tether between being chill and being in fight or flight. And so when you're stressed, your body is like, all right, like we're, ram- we're amped up. We've called all the resources to do this job, but you can't be in that high state long. You need to be in a relaxed state as well. So you're trying to bring the parasynthetic nervous system on in time uh, and to relax the sympathetic nervous system. And so the HRV is a representation of, are you chill or are you stressed? Having a high HRV is better than having a low HRV. I work very hard at it. It's been one of the hardest markers we've had to move. I, I had a meaningful increase in my HRV over the past 500 days. Uh, I, was, I started, I was believe, in the, er, like the mid-30s range, and I'm now up in the low 60s on average. So uh, good gains, but still not anywhere close where I want to be. Uh, I th- where I thought we'd be at this point. It's been really, really hard to move. And you it, it, hate heart rate var- variability, right? Is yes. That, is that what it's called? And what is that? As in, uh, it's the gaps between your heartbeats or something? Exactly, yeah. It's the interval between, yeah. So it measures the interval between your heart be- beats and how much that varies or? That's right. Okay. So you want high, you want, so if, so if my heart rate variability is like 120, I think. Great. It's definitely above 100, depending on, you know, what I've done that I'm day. I'm jealous. Well, yeah. So maybe that's one thing I can teach you about. <laughs> <laughs> but but what, what is that? 120 what? I've always wondered. I see it, and I know that high is better. Oh, milliseconds. Yeah. So 120 milliseconds variance between the heartbeats. And there's a whole bunch of ways. If you get into the actual math, you can measure them. You can actually do this calculation in a number of different ways. It gets really technical and sophisticated. But the general understanding is you want a higher number. You want a bigger number. You do you do some things before bedtime to improve your heart rate variability? Uh, I do. I've tried several devices. I've used Sensate, which is a vibrational thing on the chest. I've used Pulsetto, which is a vibration on the vagus nerve here. I've used uh, Neurosim, which is on the left tragus uh, here. Anything? But any of them work? A little bit here and there. None sustain. I mean, I... Given the amount of effort I put into my health and wellness, I sh- I would like to think I'd be over 100 in my HRV. I can't. It doesn't move. It's just a really hard marker. I wonder if all the decades where I was depressed out of my mind and really stressed out of everything, if I just ruined myself to degrees that are hard to come back from. So we've been trying to find something more advanced that would do something outside of diet and exercise and routine and sleep. We haven't found it yet. It's crazy that one of the most pivotal moments in my life was when I put my whoop on and the founder told me about this, how important that HRV um, marker is, mm-hmm. how much of an indicator it is of overall health.